Would you look at that? I'm not playing a grant. I'm playing the next one along, the Sherman 3, which is a British tank, technically. It's Lend-Lease. I think, I'm going to guess, it's probably very similar to the M4 Sherman. Actually, it's interesting. I was watching a video, and it was okay, it's about War Thunder. I'm not sure whether or not you're allowed to mention War Thunder if you mention War the Tanks in the same sentence. There's probably some kind of rule about that. Anyway, so I was watching a video about a uh, chap who went over to a museum, I think it was like in Texas or somewhere in, in America, at sort of on, I don't want to say on the payroll of Gaijin, but Time to roll out. basically to do a video about how realistic their tank bottling is. And I, I kind of agree, I'll go for the most part, yeah, their, their tank models are very realistic and they look awesome and that's fine. But there was a thing, there was a one thing this chap said that made me, I actually, just, I, I stopped the video and I looked over at my friend Loki, who's usually sitting on his, at his desk next to me. He said, and it was in referring, he was referring to the M4 Sherman. And he's saying that this is sort of the tank that he thinks of, I'm not sure if he said he thinks of, or it's actually people think of, I don't know how kind of general he was going with this, but that to him was what a tank looks like. That sort of the quintessential tank shape. And it was interesting to me because I I don't see that. As I said in my previous video, to me the T-3485 is my sort of standard, this is what I think a tank looks like. Someone gave me a piece of paper and just said, just, just draw me a tank. I'd probably draw something that looks suspiciously like a T-3485. That's just how... Enemy is hit. How I'm, I was going to say, wired up. I should probably focus on the game rather than talking about this. So anyway, so I, was, so I paused the video and I turned to Loki and he was sitting next to me and I said, like, isn't that funny that he thinks, like, he's his default sort of mental picture of tank is, is an M4 Sherman. And then I kind of said, when well, obviously it should be the T-3485. Loki didn't agree with me there. Okay, his tank, sort of his mental picture of a tank, is a Tiger II, apparently. And I thought, okay, obviously at that point I realised that my sort of subjective opinion on what is what a tank looks like isn't in any way going to be like a universal truth. It's just my preference. And I'm not, you know, I, I'm happy to accept that. But what I found interesting wasn't that there were differences in, in how we kind of perceived this is what a tank should look like, but rather the fact that we're both kind of culturally, I was going to say British, we both live in Londonish area. I mean we kind of moved to sort of the wild and woolly bit where some people say it's Essex and some people say it's London. Um, but yeah, um, he's originally from Yorkshire. I'm from the Channel Islands, which I know isn't really you know, British, but it's it's close enough for this sort of like And neither of us Look at neither of, us, neither of us have this mental picture of, of a tank looking, say, like Churchill or Cromwell or Challenger or any of the uh, any of the nice tanks that begin with the letter C. And that's kind of sad. I know I rag a lot about how bad British tanks are, and I think you know there's something to be said about not how bad they are, but sort of interesting to look at tank development from essentially a historical perspective and go like why, I, I still want to know like what happened, why did British tank design lag behind so bad, what was it, was it what happened that made this occur, because I assume there was some kind of bureaucracy problem, like departments not agreeing on specifications or how to use the tank doctrine of how tanks should be used is obviously Permission to engage. Target unlocked. This is bad idea. Why did I do this? I used to be Enemy armor is hit. You looking at me now? No, oh, you're happy just to let me Penetration. That's that's good. Now my personal mission is to set something on fire. Enemy vehicle destroyed. I'm not quite sure 
I might get lucky and find a tank that's prone to being on fire. But anyway, so it was, to me it was just interesting that British tanks are, we, we sort of see British tanks as so underwhelming that we don't think, hey, British tanks, that's what a tank looks like. Kind of weird. 